Hey there! Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts again. It's time for us to go for board gummy ship. <laughs> As is tradition. The gummy ship ship's really uh, got the, an R-type look to it now. I'm sorry, I can't hear you over these screeching guitars. Yeah, I think we walked into a Sonic game on accident. Yeah. <laughs> this is a, a very Sonic-esque butt rock, you are right. Also, I'll just say for the record that since it's been three weeks since we recorded, I kind of don't remember what's going on. <laughs> Organization 13, the Nobodies. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's really funny. Like, this is one of the most changed songs from the uh, MIDI version on the PS2. Also, I think the, uh, the Heartless have run out of budget considering they're just throwing wheels at you now. <laughs> Those come from uh, the Cars world. <laughs> the Cars world got destroyed, so now, like, this is the remnants. We're not gonna save it. No one cares. The 99 Maters were lost amidst the chaos of their world's I didn't see Cars 3, but I assume Lightning McQueen was already dead at this point. He died in a car crash, <laughs> and uh, no one went to his funeral. I maintain that the third Cars movie is surprisingly good. I think you're the only person who watched it, and I refuse to believe it exists. <laughs> I, I am a Cars flat earther, where I just don't believe any, any of those movies exist. Please. Please. You're a flat tire enthusiast. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I didn't even give that boss enough time to show off his attacks. Whoops. I didn't know that was a boss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Also, I think this is the first time we've hit Berserk mode in the uh, Gummy Ship segments during the LP. Holy shit, Gummy Ship can go Berserk. Yeah, uh, uh, under your score there, we've got a metal level, and once it hits 30, uh, all of our attacks get more powerful, and all like the metals and power-ups and whatnot that come off yeah. enemies just immediately, yeah. uh, like, zone in on you. Does the gummy ship Sora's mom? <laughs> no? <laughs> God, that even Evangelion, Evangelion joke just went over both of your heads. Uh, that's, no, I, I haven't seen it. <laughs> I get it now that I know that that's what you were going Fucking for. Fucking normies, the pair of you. <laughs> <laughs> I only watch quality isekai. <laughs> I will have you know I only watch such quality shows as Rise of the Shit. <laughs> you couldn't even you couldn't even finish that. No. Nope. No, I could not. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> it's time for live action Aladdin World. <laughs> yeah, we're doing Agrabah because uh when I asked uh you two which y'all wanted to see first Stiragi's response was, I don't give a shit, and Connor's response was, I don't know, Agrabah. <laughs> yeah, I think my I think my words were something like, let's put Agrabah out of its misery. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's the most powerful boss from the first game. Oh yeah. And the worst one from Chain of Memories. <laughs> Agrabah, Wars. I wonder how the Chain of Memories version of Jafar is still hey, hilarious to me because if your cards you know, are high enough, he can just never attack. <laughs> Come on, Donald, you were thinking the same thing. Donald, Donald is convinced Aladdin has been put to death. He thinks there's been a, a revolution against the monarchy. I mean, the city is in a major state of disarray by the looks of things. <laughs> no, I mean it's not the old me. I turned over a new feather. I'm legit. No more scams. So, uh, did y'all ever see the Return of Jafar? Nope. No. Probably for the best. It's not good. Anyways, that's what they're adapting here. Uh, okay. Finally escaped. Then some things happened. So. They couldn't have went to like King of the Forty Thieves or whatever, which is like the good one. Looks pretty sad. I want to apologize to Aladdin and Jasmine. Could you guys maybe put in a good word for me? 
Sure. We can do that, can't we? I mean, it's Iago. A good word might be difficult to find. <laughs> the only good word we have for him is fuck. <laughs> The good thing about Iago is that he's a parrot and he might live to be like 60 years old. And then eventually we will be able to cross-examine the parrot. Yeah. <laughs> so his magic, is that something you're just using to level up now? Or? Yeah, I want to level up his wisdom form here so that we can uh, get like the first movement option. So, so that we can destroy the Heartless with facts and logic. <laughs> basically. <laughs> Sora walking off in the middle of a BBC debate because he gets asked basic questions. <laughs> there is no such thing as a magic mana tree. Where are they all coming from? <laughs> <laughs> ah! But, uh, yeah, as I mentioned last episode... I think. Uh, I want to get Wisdom Form leveled up so we can get the first move from it. And then eventually when we get the form that just straight up gives us dodge roll, I'll stop using this one entirely. <laughs> I do love how all of his like costumes for these forms give him awesome flames. <laughs> Those fairies understand mid-2000s fashion. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I don't like how um, Iago's wings sometimes look like hands because it looks like he's constantly grabbing his own ass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't do that? <laughs> <laughs> I hope we get a very lifeless uh, uh, music sequence so then we really are in the live action Aladdin universe. <laughs> No, we aren't in the rhythm section of this game yet. Yet. Oh no, that, that those are grim portents. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, who's to say that I'm not just messing with you? <laughs> Who would know? You could tell me something that happened in the last episode and I'd believe you. I'm trying to put that genie back in the bottle now, Jack Ryan. <laughs> Jasmine. <sighs> Sora, Donald, that was a weird looking face. <laughs> <laughs> I never had the chance to thank you for before. You helped Aladdin defeat that awful Jafar and save Agrabah. All in a day's work. And that whole but, uh, Paul of Bastard thing it looks happened. Like the but... are up to no good again. Is there any way we can help you out? I think we're all right for now. And you always got Aladdin. Oh, he hasn't been himself lately. He looks a little too real lately. <laughs> Usually, he's the same cheerful. He's hanging Aladdin, out with some name Smith. He just seems <laughs> sad. That's called depression, Jasmine. He leaves the and goes off <laughs> yeah. By all the time. You're, you're not being a very supportive partner. He's gone again today. Look, Agrabah is still stuck in like hey, maybe he's got a the six hundreds. I, I don't know. <laughs> he's probably gonna like jam some Iago, leeches onto his face. <laughs> this will stop me from being sad. <laughs> need to balance his. That's need to balance our humans with bloodletting and chilies. <sighs> nice move. Maybe it's something you said. I mean, it's Iago. It's everything he says. Have you heard him? We should go talk to Aladdin. He's got to be somewhere in town, right? Good idea. I wonder what he's been doing. Iago has to get Iago has to get um, the forgiveness Stop of Jasmine this. and Aladdin, or the priest won't let him buy indulgences anymore. <laughs> Hi, Sora. Come back here. Oh, that's not Robin Williams at all. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not. If you can control that furball, put a leash on him. It's Look, also not I'm Homer sorry. Simpson. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself, Abu. 
Like, at least in the uh, uh, Pirates world, like, they were trying to do impressions, mind you, mostly poorly, <laughs> of uh, those people. It's just really funny how, like, the bit character that shows up a couple times in this world who was voiced by Robin hey guys, Williams uh, sounds nothing like Robin I Williams. Kind of <laughs> what happened? You know, Abu, he couldn't keep his paws off that lamp. <laughs> No talking your way out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> You're going right to prison. Don't cough both of your hands, Abu. Donald didn't make a single noise when everybody was laughing there. I have to imagine it's because he understood what Abu was saying, and he was probably saying all of the slurs. Yeah. <laughs> Abu, finally, gamer representation. <laughs> <laughs> It is true, as a gamer, I am a shitty monkey. <laughs> I finally know what to change my PSN name to. <laughs> because Sony won't let me use my own name! Anyway. <laughs> well, I guess now we understand depression. <laughs> <laughs> All of the people. <laughs> <laughs> it's bustling. My god. I kinda, I kinda sat on that uh, text box there for a second because I, <laughs> I saw it and then I started laughing. <laughs> Why is Donald so pissed? Because oh, yeah. he's Donald. <laughs> Why did Sora look like he was about to drop a fire mixtape? <laughs> Donald looks like he's about to light up a cigar. They've all got different, like, rap group promo looks going, and Donald <laughs> picked MC Ride. <laughs> oh god, Donald Duck in Death Grips. <laughs> Duck Grips. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do I gotta do to get somebody who can do a decent Donald Duck impression to do a Death Grips song now? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. You, I mean, you were inside of it. You wouldn't know what it looked like on the outside, you fool. <laughs> Damn, Abu's tearing it up. <laughs> <laughs> My man off the shits. <laughs> he, he's finally gone feral. Oh, we have to keep Donald, and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we've got some new moves since last time. Uh, specifically, a lot of stuff that involves being in the air. Yeah. Time to uh, get those triple combos. Basically, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was one of the jokes I made where I realized, like, a second afterwards, it's just fact. <laughs> Does Acrobat take the universal currency of money? Yeah. <laughs> Donald, you fool! You know, why do they call these things lamps? They don't light anything up. They, they, um, they technically do. The light comes from the tip of them. Uh. Yeah, you, um, you, it kind of lets a flame out of the tip, I believe. I guess I'm just more used to genies coming out of them. Yeah. We need to, we need to, Sora needs to get him treasure so he can donate to his favorite Eagles Patreon and finally take the top spot. <laughs> He will get those. He will get those first-hand uh, JPEGs. Please, ma'am, can I DM you? <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I donated five thousand dollars a month to you on Patreon. Can I get a freaking hello on Twitter? Please, <laughs> five thousand money. Yeah. <laughs> I showed you my gummy ship. Answer me. <laughs> <laughs> My, my favorite ego got a new uh, top donator, and now I've become a heartless. <laughs> I don't even know where to continue this now. <laughs> Thanks, you have broken me. <laughs> I, I will shuffle through my notes of terrible conversation. Okay. Uh, next on the agenda is. ASMR Man, it's a good thing that the magic is good. <laughs> it's a shame that, like, the gun attack kind of sucks, though. <laughs> yeah, I like how mobile the wisdom form is. Yeah, the, the forms have, like, a lot of personalities in them yeah. that I enjoy a lot. Yeah, the, um, I mean, in general, this game is, has been getting more and more mobile, especially with the new uh, air combos. Yeah. I'm actually thinking I might finally start playing this for myself tonight. It's a good one. Yeah, it looks like a good uh, old time. One of the main complaints a lot of people have, which I can kind of agree with, is the level design in this game is a little iffy on occasion. Yeah. Yeah. And that, like, a lot of it isn't very open. It's all just kind of boxy. But Reminds me of a certain card game... Right, Capcom versus SNK, Card Warriors, DS. Got it. You got it. Got it in one. <laughs> the, uh, the Warhammer 40k Space Wolf mobile card game now ported onto laptops, currently on sale on Steam at, <laughs> at the time of recording. Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories for the PlayStation 1. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses for PS2. <laughs> oh god, why would you choose Pete to enter a cursed tomb that, like... Eat anyone who steals anything but like the one treasure they need. I mean, Maleficent doesn't really have any other minions. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> She's got Pete and he's Union, so she can't just fire him. But <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm Union Jews. I've paid my seven hundred dollars this year, so you can't. <laughs> Maleficent's just like, but with that money, you could buy a new game console. <laughs> with seven hundred dollars, you could buy a new Hellfire dress. <laughs> You're the only one who wears those. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> if Pete goes on strike, she's fucked because he's her only member of staff. <laughs> but she gave him control of the Heartless, so she can't do anything about that either. Yeah, or the Heartless Union. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, all I'm saying is that Kingdom Hearts as a series is very pro union rights. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> See, um, the, the reason Riku was defeated in the first game and became heartless is because he's a scab. <laughs> <laughs> he crossed the, he tried to cross the picket line to get some cube blade and look what happened. You get answers. <laughs> and some secret of Pinkertons. <laughs> Once again, I don't even know how to continue. <laughs> I'm sure I can work something in about how Organization 13 are being hired by Riot. <laughs> That's too timely. <laughs> I like the way the Cave of Wonders looks in this game compared to the previous ones. It's much better. Yeah, it's uh, less of a, like, a generic looking cave. Yeah, it's got more color to it more color, there's like weird shit floating in the background. Yeah, it's matching more of the color palette and tones that the movie used, like the mix between warm and cold tones. Yeah. That's how you know this isn't the live action remake. <laughs> Take notes, Will Smith. Yeah. 
Oh, you, well, you know, you don't enjoy that um, choreography that's just filming. Looks like it's been filmed on a camcorder. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think that clip was that bad, but also I'm not very good at knowing movie shit. <laughs> this is a very timely commentary and jokes. <laughs> yeah, the joke's gonna be on us when it comes out in like three weeks and the movie's actually good. That's not gonna happen. I'm probably gonna find out because I have to go see it with my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we have to help this stupid monkey now. <laughs> I'm a I'm a bad son because my mum wanted to see the Dumbo remake, but I instead convinced my dad to go see Us with me instead. You made the correct choice. <laughs> I really like that idle animation of him spinning the keyblade, yeah. and I didn't even notice it while I was playing because I was too busy focusing on a boo. <laughs> <laughs> So we, did you just need to like smack the crystals out the air? You just had to get him to the end there. Occasionally you had to make him jump over the water. Occasionally you had to fucking pump him towards it. <laughs> <laughs> Magic! <laughs> You've opened the Disney vault. Are you ready for challenge? <laughs> Are there any barrels? No. Bullshit. And what's the fucking point? There is, however, ice cube monsters. Cube. That makes sense. I mean, cubes don't really have the structural uh, quality of barrels, so, you know, <laughs> I'm not impressed much. I can't hold anything in an ice cube. What am, I gonna, what am I gonna put in this ice cube? Water? <laughs> so, I'm just saying, can you imagine dropping a cube on a, on a Hydra's back? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I think cubes are perfectly fine, but would you want one of them dating your daughter? <laughs> God. That was a, a drop. Yeah. That seems kind of unfair, the length that took for a time challenge. Yeah, most of your time spent in this time challenge is falling, and also these flamethrowing big boys. <laughs> who I hate very much because they keep turning around constantly. Good news, Donald has it. <laughs> There's a, there's a thing here, but you need to get it all the way down because it is impossible to get it from any kind of jump. <laughs> Fuck your 100% completion. I mean, you could just redo this challenge at any point if you want to. It's just that, why, or that was why I was doing the uh, weird shit with the camera at the end there, because I was trying to make sure I grabbed the thing. Vince, stuff. <laughs> I have a problem. That problem is my pockets are not full enough. Yeah. Uh, I, there are a lot of things I didn't expect with Kingdom Hearts 2, and then Iago Redemption Arc was also was one of those things. <laughs> I can't me, I think he's yet to prove himself. Yeah. I, uh, I can't wait for Iago to, to die heroically and redeem himself. <laughs> well, that just looks oh. like sand. Fuck, now we're in the Eldorado world. <laughs> that is a rock texture pin in gold. <laughs> there. That one should do it. I mean, that wouldn't be the weirdest texture that's ever been colored differently in uh, video games. I think that honor goes to one of the Spongebob games that has a tree whose texture is just shit. Yeah, the tree back was literally a jip of shit. <laughs> just, like, colored differently slightly. 
We gotta keep Jafar bottled up, or he's gonna destroy Agrabah. <laughs> Fucking help them, Donald. <laughs> no, we can't steal this thing, or else the Cave of Wonders is going to eat us. Oh, wait, yeah, Do Donald's being a greedy bitch again. Oh, great, Pete's gonna sneak up on them again. Oh, and he just activated his infinity gauntlet. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you are ready for Tiny Arena Gauntlet Fight. Oh boy. <laughs> I do like it when it throws out all these weak enemies in like these big roll scenarios. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it feels very good to just take out a bunch of dudes real quick. Oh yeah. But, uh, most of this fight is fine. And then you clear out this wave, and then this happens. Oh god. Oh, fuck. And they constantly turn towards you. It's a platoon of spicy boys. And when they aren't turning towards you, the other ones are flamethrowing. <laughs> it's big boy season. Yeah. Boy howdy is it, and I hate it. The boys are back in town. Get yourself one. <laughs> I did cut it, uh, but I died to these guys once because the section just sucks. Yeah, it's just, it's so ridiculous to be... The way they spam those fucking flame for attacks. It's real bad. Once you take out one of them, it's not as bad, but yeah. when it's all three of them, it's just the worst. Yep, there's just no room to maneuver. It'd be okay if they didn't just turn around constantly as well, like you had some leeway. Yep. Also, hey, our maximum HP increased by like two. Let's go! <laughs> I don't think Hello? that's a joke, because if I remember correctly, on like Proud and Under, your max health at the end of the game is like 150, but on Critical, it's like 60 or 75. Huh. Like that's uh, one of the big things. The enemies do as much damage as they do on Proud, but since you have so much less health, uh, it definitely feels like they're hitting harder. <laughs> Anyway, I'm, I'm glad uh, Pete can't even mug an elderly man right. <laughs> Pete trying and failing to commit petty theft. <laughs> God, stop your turning around. <laughs> the fuck was he even doing it in mid-air? Jesus. Oh, he popped for some reason. I didn't even know that was an attack he could do until he did it there. So I tried to dodge the fire and then walked into the cutscene trigger. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> this cutscene is some anime bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Pete's gonna have a piece of toast in his mouth. <laughs> Just trips over his own ass and the lamp shatters. <laughs> nice one, Iago. Way to go. Don't drop that cloak behind you. <laughs> Fly up, would you stupid fucking animal? <laughs> You absolute buffoon! Yeah. <laughs> nice try, bird brain. Just wait till Jafar's free. That's not even really much of an insult, but he literally is a bird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like looking at me and going, "Ha ha, you Canadian." <laughs> oh shit! It's God. 
It's Homer Simpson. Hell, it's been healed. Al, you princely little muffin, you. Cosmic travel can get so lonely without a friend. You think I left you forlorn and genie-less. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> genie? Hey, this is Homer Simpson again. Now, <laughs> of course, what am I saying? You're living at the palace now. Aladdin. Jasmine. <laughs> They definitely do a better job of capturing what made Genie fun in this game. <laughs> oh yeah. Tell me, am I being a pest? Just a big blue pest? Oh, who cares, Al? I'm just so glad to see you, Genie. <laughs> like, there's a lot of cutscenes that I could point to between like the first game and the second, where it's like, oh yeah, you can really tell that they got like a higher budget and put more time into this sort of thing because they're more dynamic and all that. But, like, most of them are basically just any time the genie shows up. <laughs> I'm finishing you mugs off right now. What? Oh, God. <laughs> now it is big boy season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, this fight's interesting. When one of them's in the air, you can't hurt them, generally. Yeah. Uh, there is a way to hurt them that I'll kind of point out once it happens. Just take it a minute. Just gotta do a reaction command and send one of them flying into the oh. other one. That was and then some, it makes uh, them both of War shit. Yeah, it's real good. I, I like the action commands a lot. Yeah, a lot of them are real fun. I'm Some sorry, people does he yell so long, gay heartless? <laughs> Some people kind of complain about the reaction commands, because it, according to them, kind of turns the game into like a mash X in a case of a triangle game. But, I don't know. They're fun and what do you think the first game was? <laughs> yeah, the first one was a mash X. <laughs> yeah. No triangle. Plus, I play Dynasty Warriors. You think I give a shit about mashing buttons? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm over here all excited about the new Marvel Ultimate Alliance because it's like, hey, we're making it a beat em up, but also it's like a Muso, and I'm just like, yes, gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> <laughs> more timely commentary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just realized when people were talking about, oh, how could a Godzilla work? A Godzilla game work? Godzilla Muso could do it for me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they've also made, like, Godzilla fighting games before. Yeah, and most of them sucked. Yeah, all of them are, like, really bad arena fighters. Yeah. One of the things that I do find really weird about this game is you can't finish off a boss unless you hit them with a finisher. So, like, if you have just a really long combo that you have to start up now that they're at basically, like, three health left or whatever, <laughs> you've got to go through the whole, like, 12-hit combo in order to get that finisher and actually finish the damn fight. <laughs> Yeah, that's a neat little boss fight. Yeah. No, oh, we're in the genie sex dungeon. <laughs> yeah. Look at all the people. <laughs> <laughs> they finally sealed away Goofy for good. Iago immediately commits a war crime. <laughs> a, a lot. Have you heard just, his voice? <laughs> just you wait till Aladdin 3. They never adapt in the Kid of Forty Thieves or whatever it was called, and I'm very <laughs> mad because that was the good one. <laughs> that's the one where Iago becomes racist. No, that's the one where Aladdin's dad shows up. He's <laughs> extremely handsome, and it throws me off every time. 
Is his name a Dadden? Uh, I don't believe so. <laughs> oh, bye. <laughs> He's gone to space. Oh, he's taking an Easter egg. Kill him. <laughs> Every bone in Abu's body is now broken. <laughs> he must have secretly stolen it from the Cave of Wonders. Donald, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Donald's soul is just permanently tainted by avarice. <laughs> Gorsh, you're a greedy bitch, Donald. <laughs> oh, here we go again. That's the second episode in a row where I've ended the Disney content by saying that. <laughs> Being fair, I also called him a greedy bitch earlier. Yeah. It fits. <laughs> yeah. Prove to me that he isn't. <laughs> if we keep saying it enough, Disney have to acknowledge it as canon. <laughs> if we get 80 retweets, then it is <laughs> law. Donald's a war criminal who destroyed an entire population for blood diamonds. It's canon. <laughs> Sora, what is it? I think it's time for us to go. Scrooge McDuck deforested uh, uh, the Amazon and built a Wonder Bread factory in its place. I promise. <laughs> if you fully understood that reference, congratulations. You're as terminally online as I am. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good news. We can summon Genie again. Oh, boy. We will never see that, will we? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Aesthetic. <laughs> uh, this place we have seen before. Yeah. That was in that one video with the 9S. Yeah. Wait, is that Axel? No, it's Pluto. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought Axel got um, murdered, killed to death by uh, Roxas. No, Roxas just kind of beat on him until he called on Gold. Yeah. I, I can't tell if dissipating means you're dead or not in this game anymore. <laughs> Maybe waiting isn't good enough. My thoughts exactly. If you have a dream, don't wait. Act. One of life's little rules. Got it memorized? Who are oh you? Oh boy. Axel's found Axel. another child to harass. I happen to be in the <laughs> of Soros. Why don't we go see? You know, you remind me of this blonde I used to watch get thrown across the room. <laughs> and it's just a man making dog noises. This new DMX album is killing it. <laughs> Connor, all animal noises are just humans making noises in cartoons. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> All of the lion sounds in the Lion King were done by Frank Welker making noises into a trash can. <laughs> hey, I feel like we're friends already. That's also not a joke. I will link you that video. <laughs> <laughs> You're not acting very friendly. <laughs> that is definitely not the voice Kyrie used to have. <laughs> yeah. No. Axel just goes to sit down and cry and eat more fucking ice cream or something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what is this place? Hell. Oh, sh oh shit, we're in the internet. <laughs> so yeah, hell. We're in the cyber dimension. We're going to get Eden Syndrome. <laughs> <gasps> no, don't turn back. That's how you get an Agumon. <laughs> <laughs> You okay? What? 
You and that dog came flying out of a hole in the wall. He nearly gave us heart attacks. Convenient, though, because we're on Dog Street. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> because we had to reference the bouncer of all things. Brought it back! Yes. <laughs> Oh, Christ, we end it with these fuckers talking. <laughs> Vile. Well, uh, next time, we're going to go to, uh, oops, uh, Halloween Town, Fu eventually. <laughs> if it stops pushing us away. <laughs> Gummy ship. See you then! <laughs>